Hi, my name is Giuseppe Lanzone. I am from Peru. Actually, I'm from a small peninsula in Peru called La Punta, right in the capital. I started rowing there when I was about 11 or 12 years old, if I remember correctly. Just in a small club for about two, three months, just recreationally. And I did it mostly because my dad used to row for about eight years back in Peru. After that, when I moved to the US, when I was 14, turning 15, I started rowing my junior year in high school during the winter where the coach back then in, my, in McLean High School asked me to row. My favorite rowing moment was back in 2006 when two days before the team left for the World Championship in Eton, England, I had to go back from Princeton, New Jersey to Virginia to, uh, to get my citizenship. I had to drive down there, take a test, I passed the test, 10 out of 10, and then that was on Wednesday. On Thursday I had to expedite getting my passport. I had to drive back on Thursday afternoon, I practiced with the team on Thursday afternoon and Friday morning we took off to go to Eton. And the good thing about that is that we ended up coming in third, close race. My most disappointing rowing moment was when we didn't make it to the A finals in Beijing. This is my most disappointing moment because we did everything that we were supposed to do. We trained really hard, we had a great team, great teammates, and unfortunately we just miss the final by less than a second. About that moment, there's nothing I could really think that I could do differently. We tried really hard, we did everything that our coaches told us to do, we put, we put everything on the line and it just didn't happen. The most influential person in my rowing career has to be my high school coach and now friend and mentor, Jim Mitchell. Since day one, he saw me, he was the one that got me to start rowing here in the U.S. And he's been pushing me so far, so far since that time. During high school, he kept, he kept pushing us and pushing us. Um, I, got, I got into a good uh, school, the University of Washington, and after that I got to row in a national team. And he's been there uh, for every step of the way. The best advice that anyone has ever given me was, I think it was one of my teammates, I don't remember exactly who, but it was a couple of years back that I would just come out of the water and start talking about rowing. And if it was a bad practice, it would be like, you know, we had a bad practice, what, what happened, this and that, and I would just keep going on and on and on. I never really had a downtime from rowing, especially during the spring and summer that we would be rowing two, three times a day in the water. So I never got to like just come, come down from the rowing practice and start all over. And then he told me, listen, let's just talk for five minutes after practice. Don't keep thinking about it. Just let's talk. Let's figure out what's wrong or what's right or what we did right. And just go home, think about something else, and then come to practice with a fresh mind and start all over again. I, this level we're rowing so much that if in our free time we're still thinking about rowing we never really have downtime from the sport. That's probably the same advice that I would give to a new person that comes into the sport. Come, row, have fun, pull really hard and then if you have something good to say about practice then say it. If you have something bad then talk about it, try to figure it out and then disconnect from rowing and then when you have to come back to rowing then start all over again and you'll start fresh.